I have good news mm -hmm. for the Zoom. I'm married or planning to get married in the future or they're already married and they're starting their relationship, their marriage life. And because the marriage um, relationship only starts so sweet, but when, especially when you have a distant relationship, it's difficult when you start living together. So this is the few of things I want to educate you. If you are a good learner, take a seat, listen carefully, follow these ideas. I found them. It's not my thinking, okay? It's what I found, you know, and they help me. So I want to help. I want them to help you to, to make your, to put sugar in your marriage, you know, to put sugar in your relationship, mm? to put open, you know, to make it so sugar, you know, mm? it make it spicy, you know, each and every time. And I'm sure this will help you and you live up in marriage. Yes, no matter what, this is things I want you to learn. Yes, and um, I hope they help you if you are married is breaking up or you think something is happening and especially when you start living together if you don't have this then i don't think the marriage will last for a long time you will be having many 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 problems so i have few signs that you have a marriage this is very healthy and this is the first thing i'm gonna tell you today and i hope it will help somebody out there who is new to this and who has started living together as a husband and a wife. Now, somebody who is finding problems in their marriage after they got married and start living together. So this will help you to understand where do you stand and what should you do. And I hope it will help you to cook and spice your marriage. Welcome. First, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and I'm happy to help you as you keep listening. Don't skip, don't stop, continue as something great at the end waiting for you to, to hear or to find. Welcome and thank you. So the first thing, this is the sum of the healthy marriage relationship, okay? And I have few, not many. Just for you and your marriage will be happy. First, freedom to be yourself, hmm? each individual. Him, all, ah, okay? You should be yourself. Eh? You have your own identity. You don't try to change yourself to be somebody. That is something you should know when you are starting your relationship or when you're in your first marriage. So you know this, this is, if you come with this in your marriage, the marriage will be okay. Okay? This is the thing you should do to keep your marriage healthy. And I'm sure somebody is looking forward to find these things. So I'm gonna tell you all of them. And it's not too much, it's few of them, but if you keep them, then your marriage is safe. Okay, number three is lot of good communications. Learn to communicate with your partner, no matter what is eating you up. Don't keep it for yourself because it will destroy you. Talk about it. Have a good communication every time. And the other thing which people take it for granted, good sex life. Stop saying no every day. Give your husband what he needs. Give your wife what he needs. Don't say today I'm tired. Today my kids are. Oh, today I'm being tired. I'm being keeping busy with my work. Oh, today I can't do it because I'm. Oh, I'm. Blah 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 blah. Many excuses. Stop giving excuses. Give your husband what he needs. Give it good sense. A very good one. And that is the last thing you need to do. Don't die him whenever you want it. That will make him positive. Okay, another thing, trust each other, trusting one another. You should trust one another each and every time. Because if you don't trust one another, that's the problem. It's the start of your problem in your marriage. The other thing is being faithfulness. Faithfulness to one another. Being faithful is the right thing to do. Being faithful, you know what it means to be faithful. 
you know what is being being faithful to your to your partner. The other thing is balance exists assist balancing things as a husband or as a wife balance things don't be too much in some things and the other one balance children work and home and the husband balance everything let everything be on balance don't just do one and let another don't do like this do them like this let them balance all of them make sure you balance whatever you have in life your work, your business, your children, balance everything you do. And if you do that, I'm telling you, keep time for everyone and keep time for your husband. No matter how many children you have, keep time for your husband. And that is the good thing to do in life. And that's the thing is, the marriage is fun. Keep marriage as fun as you can. Don't just say I'm married because you wanted to, it's a, it's, it's a serious thing. No, keep the marriage fun. And you live for a good life. That's all. Yeah, that's all. You know, and um, I want to tell you this. What makes a, a happy marriage life takes commitment and love. But this also needs respect to be fully, truly happy and successful. You need to respect one another to make it work. And um, a marriage based on love and respect and, and, um, and um, uh, love uh, doesn't just happen. Both spouses have to do their part. You just have to do your part as a married couples, and that is what I'm gonna teach you today. In a healthy marriage, spouses are sexually and emotionally faithful to each other. That is what is missing in your marriage. And spouses, spouses who are intimate, emotionally supportive, trusting, and caring have a healthy marriage. So that is what keeps people in marriage life. That's what keeps people feeling good. Yeah. And the other thing is, what keeps a marriage strong is the ability to talk and listen to each other is a key to a healthy marriage. You should never assume your partner knows what you are thinking or feeling. Tell your spouse what is going on. Hmm? And on. And as a spouse, hmm? Know when to simply listen. Running to really hear your partner is a skill that you may require practice. You know, it's your first time. It has been quarreling and argument. So this thing will help you. Read it, watch it more often, and then you know this is what you need. I said to have a very happy marriage. It takes practice. To make a happy marriage in your life. And I'm telling you because I'm married for four years now. But I'm learning. And I want you to run with me. So that we can keep practicing. You know, we can keep this in, your, in, our, in our marriage. I'm teaching you so you can learn. And if it's your first time to marriage, I'm telling you. If you do this, it's good. And your life, your marriage will last happy. I hope you're happy now. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And if it's your first time, welcome. And I'm hoping to see you more often. Be blessed.